last night out, this is our fourth year, and in four years we've had 750 women attend this event. We've raised $100,000. This event started after Liam Witt, whose family started Cookies for Kids Cancer, lost his battle with cancer. And Kara Pearson and I decided that we had to do something big. We wanted to find a way to really empower women with knowledge and bring them to an event and, and teach them about pediatric cancer. And so we started Mama's Night Out just with the concept that women go out to restaurants and they'll spend, you know, $50, $60 on a night out to dinner well, to harness that energy and get women together for a good cause. Since I came initially as a social event to be, hang out with other moms and have a drink, um, take a break from the kids. But then as I got more and more involved with the event, I got to meet more people who had kids with cancer and realize how underfunded pediatric cancer really is. It's raising money for research. It's raising money for organizations that do direct care with families. about how lucky I am that my kids are healthy and that any day that could change. It could drop on a dime. And then I think of these moms that have to deal day, with day in, day out hospital visits and all the things they need to keep their kids just healthy to try to fight for their life. And it's just intensely powerful. We know the names of up to 20 different drugs, their purpose, dosage, and time to be taken. We are always on call, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I feel really strongly that it shouldn't be up to the moms who are already dealing with their kids having cancer to make a difference. It should be up to us. All the, the other 350 moms who are here, it should be up to us to make a difference. They have enough to deal with. The social worker at the hospital when we first checked in said 50% of marriages involving pediatric cancer don't survive. So now I have to take care of a sick kid and a one-year-old and I have to try to keep my marriage together and I have to worry about bills because I had to take a leave of absence to take care of my daughter. So now our income's been cut in half and I have no freaking idea how we're gonna do this. Seven children died today from cancer. My child wasn't one of them. She is already dead. Jennifer was five and started in kindergarten. A little less than two months into the school year, I noticed her eyes starting to turn inward. I will never forget the first time I noticed. She was standing in front of our pantry and we just finished the reading homework. And I said, be careful, your eyes are gonna stay that way. Libby Kranz is a good friend of mine. We've been friends for years. We're in the same mom's group together. When her daughter Jennifer was diagnosed with DIPG last October, we all kind of in our group came together and it was whatever we can do, anything that we can do. And it's too late for Jennifer, but if this can help anybody. My ideal night is that people walk away from this and they want to do something and they don't wait until their niece or their or their cousin gets cancer that they realize now that the best thing they can do is get involved now. I love that people are out enjoying themselves and a lot of people have told me that they don't have very much time in their lives to make a difference and just this one evening really means a lot to them and they felt like they really gave back, you know, just by buying some raffle tickets and dancing with their friends. You can feel that these mothers here are out there to support one another. They're gonna leave this event changed. All of us will. Being at an event like this with so many powerful women and you know to see so many women who either walk the road I'm currently walking or are walking right along with me um, makes me feel like it's gonna be okay and that I can do it and that I'm not alone, which is uh, a very nice feeling.